In this video, we will be going over the Multidimensional Voice Program, or MDVP. The MDVP module acquires, analyzes, and displays four voice parameters from a single vocalization, which can be used for the analysis of different vocal pathologies. When you first open the program, this is the window you will see. At the top left, you have pull down menu buttons, and directly below, you have a toolbar with many commonly used functions in the program. Many functions in the program can also be controlled using hotkeys, and in fact, the entire MDVP analysis can be done just with hotkeys. We will begin by recording a sample of a sustained vowel A, ah, and we will take note to ensure that the sample fills the entirety of window A. We will begin recording either by pressing the record button on the toolbar or using the F12 key. Uh, notice that I let the sustain phonation fill the entirety of window A. To play your signal back, simply press the play button in the toolbar. Uh, once you are happy with the signal you have recorded, you can complete the MDVP analysis. You can do the, that either in the toolbar here in the protocols menu here, or simply by pressing the F7 key. Uh, you will see that the program plays the signal back and then performs the analysis. Here in window G, you will see the MDVP analysis. You will have the relative average perturbation or jitter. You will have shimmer, noise to harmonic ratio, and voice turbulence index. You will see that normal values fall within this green circle. You can also right click and go to MDVP report setup to change the type of graphical display as well as the parameters that show up in the analysis. You can then go to the MDV report parameters menu and here you will see the, M the report for all of the parameters in the MDVP analysis as well as some other parameters. It is important to change the gender for the user to get the correct normative data in the report. You can then save this or print it for later use. Let's now do another analysis that shows values outside of the normal range. We will go to the macros menu and run a hoarse voice macro to see a sample outside the normal range. You heard the program play the sample back and then complete the MDVP analysis. And as you can see, all of the values are outside of the normal range for this sample. Relative average perturbation and shimmer are way out of the normal values, while noise to harmonic ratio and voice turbulence index are slightly out. You can then again generate the report and look at the values for the MDVP analysis as well as some other values. Again, ensure that the right gender for the user is selected to see the correct normative data. If you have any additional questions about the software, please refer to the help menu to see the instructions for use. 